it's like a valve for electric transmission line. Electricity likes to flow wherever it wants to flow. If you remember your high school physics, it's path of least resistance. What we're doing is changing the path. SmartWire Grid makes a distributed series reactor. We call it a DSR or SmartWire. It enhances reliability. It reduces the congestion. It allows us to get more use out of our existing transmission system than we can using conventional technologies. For us, what we see in the DSR is it's all pleasant because it's very rare, especially from an R&D group, that you see uh, technology uh, start and finish with an uh, implementation of deployment on your system. The technology was sufficiently well uh, developed that uh, uh, NITRAC and Georgia Tech were looking for a company to uh, take it out of the lab. From there, it's been a collaboration between SmartWire and the SmartWire Focus Initiative Group. That's a, a collection of utilities, TVA, Southern Company, Baltimore Gas and Electric, and the National Rural Electric Cooperative Administration. We got notice of our ARPA-E grant in November of 2011 and signed the grant in April of 2012. About that point, we put on our track shoes and, and uh, took off. We advanced anywhere from one to three years from where our original plans with the ARPA grant. We went from having tested our initial prototype, we redesigned the product, went through very significant testing, to having planned the installation with TVA, worked with TVA to install 99 devices, and now they're up and running, and TVA is coming back to us with data and analysis and talking to us about other applications for the DSRs that, that weren't in the original plan. We envision the DSR could be used in several different ways. With the uh, units installed, we believe that uh, they're going to balance out the uh, load going across each phase. That we can get in and get out fairly quickly and install the units, and uh, you know, downtime is, is a minimum. Fault location might be of use to us, uh, and so it might support sending crews out to the exact locations as opposed to uh, guessing exactly where a fault may have occurred. It's more than just RPE gave us uh, funding for a project. They're helping us think broader than just get your technology developed and you know, make sure that it works. They're really helping us think about the whole business aspect. We manufacture in St. Louis. You build things that you're going to supply locally. There's no real value in having it built overseas and, and shipped over here. Um, we, we've got all the capability in this country to, to do this type of technology. It was, it was thought up here, it was created here, we ought to manufacture it here. The interest in the industry is phenomenal. I've, I've been in the industry my entire career. I have never seen this kind of pull for a technology. We are getting inquiries from major utilities uh, throughout the U.S. and around the world. When we look at it from a, a long-range perspective, what we see is going from a, a fairly fixed and, and not overly dynamic uh, transmission system to an almost infinitely controllable transmission grid. You can dispatch the wires in addition to being able to dispatch the generation to really optimize the power flow on the grid to match whatever the objectives are, whether that's renewables, lower cost, uh, greater reliability, greater efficiency. We don't know what the demands are gonna be in 10 years. What we do know is that having greater flexibility in control of the transmission system will support whatever those goals are.